We are here with Nick McCroy. We're going to ask him a couple questions about himself. Nick, how old were you when you started diving? I was eight years old when I started diving. Um, I actually began as a swimmer. Um, I swam at the, you know, the UNC pool. Um, and every day I would be swimming you know, laps and I would see the divers at the end of the pool and it just looked like so much more fun. So eventually, I, after months of begging my mom, she let me make the switch and I've stuck with it ever since. And what is your favorite dive? My favorite dive is my inward, four, inward three and a half on 10 meter, uh, my 407C. Uh, that's, yeah, that's definitely my favorite dive. It's gotten to be one of my most consistent and um, you know, I just love doing that dive in the competition. What's your most embarrassing moment in diving, or embarrassing story? Uh, well, I've had a lot, but I'd say my most embarrassing moment is uh, in 2006 when I failed my reverse two and a half on one meter at Junior World Championships. Uh, that was an embarrassing one. Um, it kind of I remember that. Uh, and yeah, wasn't very happy after that one. Uh, well, <laughs> what was your proudest moment? My proudest moment, um, I would have to say uh, last year at World Championships uh, when I finished sixth place in men's 10 meter, um, you know, I didn't get a medal or anything, but um, coming back from a rough synchronized event, you know, the day later um, for individual, I really had to, you know, dig deep and, you know, I put in some consistent lists and ended up sixth, which was my highest world finish, so I was really proud of that. And what would it mean to you to be a part of the 2012 Olympic team? Uh, being on the Olympic team to me would you know, mean everything. Um, you know, it's what I've been working for, uh, I feel like, my entire life. Um, it's always been my dream and my goal, and um, it would mean the world for that to come true.